Hey there, it's John from Excel Campus, and in this video I'm going to explain groups and outlines in Excel. So in this example, we have a formatted income statement, and you can see over here on the left of the row headers, we have this group. And if we click this button here, that will collapse the group and hide those rows. And if we click the plus button now, that expands the group out and makes those rows visible so we can see those. So in order to apply these in Excel, the first thing we'll do is select the rows or columns, but we'll first start with rows. Just select the rows that you want to add to a group. Uh, so I have all those rows selected. We'll go to the data tab on the ribbon. And over here on the right side under the outline section, we have a group button. Uh, so we can just click the top half of this button and that will apply the group. So now you can see over here, we have the group applied we can click off of that and then we can collapse and expand this group. This also works with columns as well. So maybe I want to hide all the month columns, same thing, select the columns first, data tab of the ribbon, go to the outline section, and then again, we can click the group button, or you'll also notice here as the screen tip comes up, the keyboard shortcut for this is shift, alt, right arrow, shift, alt, right arrow. So we can press that instead. I'll do shift, alt, right arrow, and that will create our column grouping. And again, we can click this to collapse it. And now we just see the quarters and we can easily unhide those. So this is a great advantage over hiding and unhiding rows and columns it, because it makes it very easy for your users to navigate and expand and collapse the row and column groupings. You'll also notice that over here in the top left corner, we have some numbers added. And these allow us to expand and collapse all of the groups in either the rows or the columns all at one time. So since we have multiple groups here on our rows, if we click the one right here, that's going to collapse all of the groups. And then if we click two, that will expand all the groups. And we can have multiple levels of groups. For example, if we wanted to have another group here for just rows 14 and 15, I'll select those rows first. And again, I'm going to use shift alt, oops, shift alt right arrow, and that will create my group right there. So now you can see we have a three up here. We can collapse all of our groups. Then we can expand out to two. And then again, we still have this one collapsed. We can click three to expand out all the groups. So again, it just makes it easy to navigate and just see the groups, or I'm sorry, the rows or columns that you want to see. And then of course, to ungroup or remove the groups, uh, it's the same process. You just select the col or this columns or rows that have groups applied. So we'll select all of these columns here. Then again, we go to the data tab, uh, outline section, and ungroup. And the keyboard shortcut there is shift alt left arrow. So shift alt left arrow. So I'll click the ungroup button and that will just remove the group. Now Excel also has a feature called auto outline that can help us with this. It makes this process much easier if you have a formatted income statement. In order to use that, again, we'll just select any cell here, go to the data tab in the ribbon, and then in outline, within this group button, there's a split button. And if we click the bottom half of that, we can see the auto outline feature right here. Now, typically when you use this, you first want to clear or remove all of the existing groups. And that is in the ungroup dropdown. So if you click the ungroup dropdown, you'll see this clear outline button, and that will remove all column and row groupings. So I'll go ahead and click that. That'll get us back to uh, square one here with no groups applied. Then, like I said, we can select any cell here in our data range, uh, go to the outline group, and then click auto outline, and that will create the groupings for us. Now, this grouping is created based on formulas. So what Excel has done is it's found all of the formulas, the, the sum or subtotal formulas in this sheet here, and it's created groupings based on that. So there's a formula in this cell right here. Therefore, Excel uh, believes that this should be included in a group and all the rows above it should be grouped, which they are here. In this case, it's in uh, level three, and it's also found additional groups uh, below. So it's ultimately created five levels in the outline and then you'll notice for the columns it's created six levels and that's because we have all these quarter formulas over here at the right 
So depending on how your uh, report is laid out, this may or may not work for you. I, I would not wanna see all these groupings here. They kind of don't really make too much sense. So you can kind of collapse down all the months in a quarter. So I guess technically it does make sense, but this uh, adds a lot of space up here at the top that I wouldn't want to uh, take up and also probably wouldn't be very useful. So one thing you can do here is again, if we go to the data tab of the ribbon, I'm first going to clear these the outline. And if we just want to apply it to rows, we can actually just select the rows. So I'll just start here, select all the rows here within this report, all the way down to the bottom. So with those rows selected, again, I can go outline uh, the bottom half of the group split button and choose auto outline, and then it will only apply it to the rows. So it's not going to apply it to the columns. And this is nice. I would want to see these uh, group levels. Of course, you can manually go in here and remove some if there's too many levels, but this just saves time from having to do all that work manually. And then again, you can just quickly navigate through this report to see more of a summary level. If you want to see more detail, you can click into each of these buttons to then see the details of your report. Now, Excel also has a feature called subtotal, which will create groups and outlines. I've explained this in a previous video on the subtotal feature of Excel, but I will just mention and quickly show it here. So when you have a data set like this, uh, where you have columns of data, and let's say you want to uh, provide some subtotals or create some subtotals uh, at each change in the product here, uh, you can also do this with the subtotal feature. And again, that's in on the data tab of the ribbon in the outline section, you'll see this uh, subtotal feature here, So you, or the subtotal button. And again, you'll first wanna select a cell in the data range. You can click this, this will open the subtotal menu. And at each change in the product, in the product column here, uh, we want to use the sum function, and then we can uh, choose which columns we want to sum. So I want to sum quantity, revenue, and shipping. And then you can uh, choose any of these options as well, and then hit OK. And in this case, Excel is not only going to create the outline over here for the rows on the left side, it also adds in, it inserts rows for the subtotals. So we can see we have a subtotal here using the subtotal function for just each product in our list. And of course, this uh, list does need to be sorted. So you have products already grouped or whatever the items are already grouped here. But that's another nice feature. And again, it does create those group outlines for you. So you can quickly navigate this report as well. So, and you can also manually go group and ungroup these row groups as well. So that's a uh, grouping and outlining in Excel. A lot of great features here to just make it easier to navigate your reports, especially for your users that you're sharing your files with. So I hope this has helped. Of course, if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a comment right below this video. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.